Hi guys, how's it going? This is Enrique and this is Critique Corner. I've been working as a professional artist for several years. I didn't know everything, but I know a good amount about art and drawing. The way this segment's gonna work is you send me your drawings via email. And I will give you my honest critique and do my best to help. These are my first impressions. So anyways, let's get started. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, I guess the intro explained uh, you know, the majority of what this segment's about. It's really just a critique. Uh, this is from Ashley. Ashley. What's up, Ashley? So this is Scorpion from uh, Mortal Kombat. And uh, sorry it's been a while, you guys. I've been kind of busy with stuff. I'm really going to throw everything I can behind the channel really soon. And uh, I'm going to do a lot more of these. And I'm going to even start bringing in like guests to start critiquing with me. Uh, whether it be just kind of like an outsider opinion, you know what I'm talking about? Like uh, somebody who's not an artist. Because I kind of like getting the impressions of somebody who's not an artist. And then I'll kind of like give mine, of course. Um, so whatever. That's next time. You know, blah, blah, blah. For now, let's check this out. Uh, so let me... Oh, also, right off the bat, if you want anything critiqued, you know what I mean? Like I say in the intro, don't know everything, but I know uh, good about I've been working for a long time. Uh, go to... I mean, send your picture to omegaman20 at gmail.com omegaman20 at gmail.com label it cc or critique corner or some way i can like uh you know differentiate it from the other emails and uh yeah that's about it send something in if you want so let's kind of get into this first of all let me crop this top part out they took a picture of it um crop it and let me throw another layer over it. Let me put some, uh, I don't know, what's a bright color blue, right? So I can, like a dark, let's see. Can you see that? I'll put green. So anyways, uh, first off, right off the bat, really good. I like it, like it a lot. Uh, I kind of wish you had scanned it, though. And I, I say this a lot, guys. You know that. Because uh, this huge shadow right here is uh, kind of in the way. You know, I kind of wish you had scanned it. If you don't have a scanner, then I get it, you know. Uh, just try to, like, watch out, because this... You know, and again, this is picky. This is nitpicking, right? Uh, but I have to do that, right? It's presentation. is part of it. Like, if you ever do a job, blah, blah, blah. That is really in the way. Um, but that's besides the point. Let's let's get really into this. Um, I also don't know what angle that you took this picture from because it looks a little warped to me, personally. Uh, like I said, overall great. Really great. Uh, but I'm thinking, like, it looks a little, uh, like, short, and I, I'm really just curious if it's because the textbook is – textbook – the sketchbook is tilted back at an angle. I'm not quite sure of that yet. So I'm not sure. I'm going to critique it as is, but I would think it's a little warped. So what I would do is I'll just actually grab the image, and I would kind of change it. I would actually – I would actually like to see it more like this. So overall, I just think it's a little too short, honestly. See that compared to this? For all I know, it really was like this. I don't know. But I would just kind of stretch it out more. And uh, now if we get into the nitty-gritty, uh, when I, it, this is uh, pretty good. It's a portrait, you know, essentially. I think it might be from one of mine, uh, from one of my videos. I'm not 100%. But when you do a portrait, the general rule is when you uh let me do black actually yeah that's better so the general rule is you have the center line of the face right he's turning he's clearly looking off t this way to the right right so he's, he's looking off that way his center line of his head is going to be something like maybe between his eyes here like between like the nose where the face is kind of almost it's almost uh just like it's symmetrical right we are pretty much symmetrical i mean not entirely but for the most part and then you kind of have a muzzle shape coming out where the mouth comes out but in general we do follow the the, the uh, let me talk about the uh the center line the center line can be divided into three areas there's the hairline which is where the turning of the form happens right is where like the f forehead becomes the kind of the top of the head you know what i mean it has nothing to do with the hair i mean the hairline is just kind of what we call it but it has to do with where the forehead slowly becomes the top of the head. And that is kind of what we call the hairline. So if we have the hairline, we, and then we have the bottom of the chin right here, you can divide this area into three segments. And that's normally what we do. This is all just proportional ballpark stuff. 
but it kind of keeps it uh, looking uh, just kind of human. Do you know what I'm saying? It makes it look a lot. I mean, obviously, people fall a little bit out of these things all the time. But it, th those are just the basic proportions that we start out with. You know what I mean? So if I have like a, so like a one, two, and three, you know what I mean? Uh, normally, what happens is right here would be the brow line, honestly. So like I would have to move this way down. You know what I mean? The brow line would be here. The nose line would be here. And then the, kind of the whole head shape would have to move down. But this is all, again... That, that's just kind of the general rules I go to. I think the top of the head's a little bit too small uh, because of that reason. And it kind of just throws things off a little bit. You know what I mean? Because like I said, normally it would be the brow line right here. Let me get a white. The brow line would be right here, you know, the top divider. And then it'd be the bottom of the nose would be right here. And honestly, I think if you just shift it a little bit, it should be fine. Or uh, uh, and uh, the, Actually, the truth is if you just add a little bit more to the back of the skull... Like, if you throw a little bit of, uh, like I said, just kind of top part of the head here. Because he has regular proportions, right? I mean, if you look at something like the Hulk, you know, uh, that guy's different. I mean, that guy, his nose is so far up, you know what I mean? And he's got such a tiny head to make him look monstrous, you know? Like, monster huge. Scorpion isn't so much like that. Scorpion's kind of, uh, for the most part, he's a good-shaped guy, but he's a little bit different i would actually even kind of pull the jaw in a little bit i'm just kind of like sketching out proportions here so don't take it as you know that's how the image is gonna look or that's how a finished image would look uh i think this eye as well could be moved inward a little bit just a little bit i think his eyes might be a little bit too small Yeah, you know, I mean something like that. Again, I'm just moving shapes around. I'm not trying to like fix them up presentation-wise right now. I'm just kind of moving things around. Oops, need yeah, darker for that shadow there. Ah, I can't do that. Make this come out a little bit more. I would actually. One of two things, like I said before, let's look at it without it. See how the, the skull kind of makes it look a little bit more uh, normal, normalized, a little bit more. Uh, it just looks a little bit better with a skull like that. If you just pull in the neck and give him more, because you got to remember that the brain is encased within a skull. So, I mean, you have to remember the brain does take up a, a decent amount of room. And then actually from here, I would even, unlike from my this version right here I'm messing with, I would even pull the chin up a little bit. And that might start to normalize everything. Because those proportions I talked about before, you know, those, whatever, those are kind of based on uh, comparing one shape to the other. They're based on proportion, you know. You're not just making everything bigger or everything smaller. You're making one thing slightly to the left, one thing slightly up, you know, one thing uh, slightly wider. You know, you're, uh, you're dealing with comparing uh, one shape to the other shape. It's comparisons, you know. So... When I say, like, you have to do – you don't have to do this thing, but it has worked, you know. But when I say that, I don't mean you have to, like, push everything down. You can just, like, pull something up, and it would repair it, like, really quickly, you know. Uh, so it is like a guessing game. It, not a guessing game. It's more like a, an like you're auto-correcting yourself, kind of like. So when I put a shape down, it's every time I draw, I will – like, okay, for example, like, and I've said this before, too. Sometimes when I put a shape down, I know it's probably going to be wrong. But I put it down, and that's why I put it down lightly. And then I'm putting it down for the purpose of correcting it. You know what I mean? I think you can pull the neck in a little bit as well. But I'm pulling it down for the purpose of finding out where to move it, you know? Just so I have something on the paper. And I like it. that's why I put it down lightly. I put it down really lightly so I can that, that I can move it later. I guess it's got kind of a... What does he have? Those things? I forget. And uh, maybe his neck down here has a sternocleidomastoid that comes from the back of his neck. Would be a good shape, dude. He can, he can work out. But yeah, that, that like just proportionally, I think that would be a little bit better, uh, proportion-wise. But let me, I'm going to run through and I'm going to kind of recap everything right now that I just talked about. Okay, so 
first of all, like I said, it, it is a good drawing. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. And, and uh, But I just think uh, I, I, we're talking about things to fix. I would fix – I would make the back of the skull bigger, if you can see it there. Make the back of the skull bigger. Make the neck smaller, just a little bit smaller, like tapering in more. Right now it's kind of going a little bit too wide. And I think that's to do with like just learning the anatomy of that area. I would even kind of, if I was to give you any uh, kind of like constructive, uh, a more constructive thing would be maybe go to anatomy lessons uh, on the neck, which I have some, I believe, on this site. But uh, honestly, just Google them. You know, you can kind of see the anatomy of of the neck really well online. And honestly, what I really recommend is go to body, look at uh, look up bodybuilders and look at their neck because that's like the height of human you know, kind of like where you can see all the lines and the cuts and stuff like that. And you can see on a real human, even though they're kind of exploded, you see them very well on a living human being. I would really go to, uh, like, look up bodybuilder uh, bodybuilder neck or bodybuilder trapezius, bodybuilder sternocladomastoid, uh, things like that. But that's kind of it, really. I mean, honestly, just the – I think if you just pull in the neck – I mean, I talked about the proportions, you know, but I think those proportions were based on the head and uh, being too small and I think the chin being a little bit too – long and wide so i think like i said give him more skull pull the chin up a little bit pull it in a little bit i believe it was also a little bit too wide like over in this area it was just a little bit too flared out and uh yeah i would say look up some neck anatomy uh, another little tidbit would be make the eyes a tiny bit bigger especially that left eye i didn't even touch the other eye really i touched it a little bit but not much and uh Maybe make – remember that there's a nose in here, so just kind of follow the shape of the uh, the mask to make sure there will be kind of room for a nose in there. And that's kind of it really. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys sending the stuff in. And uh, I, Ashley, I think you did a really good job. Just keep pushing it. Uh, keep working on it. Uh, mostly your proportion. If I was to narrow down one, any one thing, it would be hit that proportion hard. You know, Look up proportions. Uh, I would recommend looking up Andrew Loomis's books. Andrew Loomis, I always recommend him because I, I learned to draw from his books. And uh, I learned to draw from class, but I also learned to draw from him, Basic Human Anatomy, uh, because he's got a lot of charts on. I don't think he's alive anymore, but his books are everywhere. Andrew Loomis, uh, maybe look up Andrew Loomis Proportions or Human Proportions. He does it great, so uh, I would look that up. Anyways, thanks a lot, and uh, let me uh, – one last thing here. Do I have the uh, – is that there? What the? What? Okay. When I cropped it, I cut off the thing. So, <laughs> dang. Anyways, email me at omegaman20 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, give your advice as well. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Please, please, please leave a comment and talk about this video uh, in terms of, like, you know, what do you guys suggest? Thanks a lot, guys. I'll talk to you later.